Hey folks, welcome back. It's time to talk about annotations, which is a very important strategy that we use in Foundations of Literature 1. Every couple of weeks, we start a new mini unit. And at the very beginning of that mini unit, I'll be providing you a document that's called Class Readings. That document has the readings that will be the focus of our class during that mini unit. That is the document that belongs to you where you will be doing your annotations and your marking up of the text. This is an important process because it helps you understand the readings more closely and gives you a place to really dig in to what's being said in the text. So let's take a look at that process. To begin with, each of these documents comes with some information located before you get to the reading. I give you some background of the reading, including information about the author and what inspired the piece of writing that you'll be reading. I give you some resources. In this case, it's an interview with the author and the audio and video of the text being read aloud at the inauguration. Underneath that, I provide some key vocabulary. These are words that might be difficult for some of you that you should know in advance of reading this text. And then finally, I give you focus questions. And these focus questions are very important because they guide what you should be annotating as you read the class readings. In this case, there are three focus questions. We're gonna pick the first one and I'm gonna demonstrate with you how I expect you to annotate these documents. The first question is, what is the hill we climb? You've already interacted with this text once last week. So if you remember, that hill we climb line arrives about uh, two thirds of the way through the poem. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the passage in which it occurs. And as you can see, I'm going to use the highlight tool at the top. I'm going to highlight it in green. The passage says, if we're to live up to our own time, then victory won't lie in the blade. Blade meaning violence. But in all the bridges that we've made, that is the promise to glade, the hill we climb if only we dare it. It's because being American is more than a pride we inherit. It's the past we step into and how we repair it. The author here is clearly suggesting that America needs to heal and that our victory won't lie in violence, but in building bridges together and working together with one another to repair the sometimes difficult past that we all uh, are inheriting. I'm going to go ahead and add a comment using the comment tool in the margins. When I click on the plus sign, I'm given a place to type. And I'm going to type exactly that. The hill we climb represents the challenge of working together to overcome the difficult history of our country. Now, if you are having trouble with this question, if you're not exactly sure your annotation is correct, you can at me by simply typing in at and then my email address. When you click on it and assign it to me, I will get an email and it will make me look at what you've annotated and your response to it and whether it's correct. I'll gladly give you feedback on whether your annotations are correct or not and help you understand the readings if you're having challenges. So once again, you're not annotating everything in the document. You're picking out things that are meaningful to you. You're picking out things that you may uh, have trouble understanding. And then you're using the focus questions to guide your thinking. The highlight tool is located at the top. And the comment tool uses the plus button in the margins. You can assign it to me by using the at symbol if you have questions about how to do that. Good luck with highlighting and annotating the hill we climb.